One of the things that you ought to consider when you're uh, making your park flyers and your little foamies, I've got a P51 foamy um, called a 51 Blue. If you're on the internet, you can look it up from uh, I think it's Gene Bond that uh, makes these, the designs. I downloaded his plans. I started to cut that out. And as I started to cut that out, I thought, you know, I wonder what they would compare wise the exact same thing made with a two inch foam instead. And I thought, well, this is naturally going to be significantly heavier. Now, in my last video, I showed you how to cut out the wings um, and uh, I've shown you how to cover them, with, cover them with paper, the brown paper pot, uh, with the glue, just um, dilute your glue, put it on, put the paper on, let it dry. And I thought, well, I wonder how much they compare weight-wise. Now, I'm not finished with either one of these, but I'm getting significantly along with it. So if I put this one on the set of scales, as close as I can to balance it, so I'm reading pretty much just the weight of the, uh, the plane, that runs at about 139 right there, roughly 150 by the time I get done with the, adding the other pieces on it. Let's take a look at this one. Put both wings on it in this fashion, and I know I don't have my rear stabilizer finished up yet, and the, the plane isn't covered with the uh, paper, but other than that, they're almost exactly the same stage. This one's 151. 10 grams more for this one than that one. And yet, if you look at the way we built this one, this one was built relatively quickly. It's a, a structurally really, really stable. I like the fact that on this one, I've got some uh, airfoil to it. I can cut in a little bit of dihydral, or dihydral that I didn't get cut into the other one. Now, when I look at it from that perspective, cutting these things was really, really easy. You know, and I could have probably taken a knife and done it, but I thought of a different way to do this. Since I plan on making more than just one of these, I actually am a physics teacher, and I'm trying to show my students how to fly. So I went and took some 8 inch plywood, and I cut out an exact match pair of these. I sandwiched. Sandwich them between you know, the uh, high density foam. Now, this piece is a little bit short, but I don't plan on using it anyway, it's just for example purposes. But if you'll sandwich these things just exactly between them, line them up, put a set of clamps on them, you can clamp these front and back. Once you've got the clamps done on them, then I take my hot wire cutter. I've shown the use of it in the other videos with the longer as well as this shorter one. I can just run that right down through there, cut those just as swift as can be. And I can actually cut these things out very, very rapidly. A little bit of sanding. I'll, I'll uh, cut in my receivers, my batteries, all the other stuff. And it's uh, actually quite stable. Another thing that I'm I'm uh, going to be doing with these. There's another idea that I had, and if I were to do another one, I'd use half inch instead of three quarter inch. If you do exactly the same thing with three layers, if I were to use half inch on the outside, three quarter inch on the inside, when I get done with these, I can glue them together, pull that together, sand back the end, and I can actually cut out from my battery so that I can stuff my battery back down inside. I'll, uh, I'll take the top and I'll build a piece to fill in here as I shape it, cover it with paper. I'll leave the open or the bottom open so I can actually get inside. I'll drill a little hole, put a dowel in so my battery can go in, pin it. I can slide my battery out. Everything else is already encased in it. And the uh, neat thing about these is they're so dang inexpensive to build your times all you're, you're dealing with on them. Uh, Weight-wise, you can balance them out with battery location, etc. They're as good as these. They're as good as the foamies. And uh, yet structurally, once I get my wings done with them, put my dihedral in on them, etc. Um, get all my servos mounted on. These things are significantly better looking than the foamies. They look more like the model aircraft uh, that we look at. 
because I've coated the foam with the paper, it's now paintable. I can spray it with a spray can. I can paint it with a paintbrush. Or I can just leave the little thing look like it's wood. It just doesn't make any difference how you approach them. But it gives you a couple of ideas what to do with the foam significantly lighter when you get done. And a lot faster to build than a kit. Uh, they're not quite as durable at the field, but you know if you wreck them, that's why you take a little bit of Helmer's glue with you. You can patch them, do the repair on them when you get done. Appreciate you watching. Go ahead and try them and enjoy.